Hello everyone, I'm Mike Guidry, Curator of Public Art of the University of Houston System. Today we are at UH Downtown looking at Salt Marsh by John Biggers. Salt Marsh is a large-scale allegorical painting filled with iconographic images. There's an overarching theme here about transformation and renewal and the cycles of life, relationships between people and our relationship to the environment. Most of the imagery is African in origin, but there are a lot of cross-cultural images here as well. Some are distinctly American and some that transcend time and space. It's a synthesis of local and global images and themes. John uses the story of the never-ending chase between the turtle and the rabbit or the rising and setting of the sun and moon to ground this story about renewal and the cycles of life. The turtle represents the sun and the rabbit represents the moon. They follow each other around and around the earth in an endless cycle. This marks the changing days and movement of heavenly bodies, changing seasons and the passing of time. All of this takes place under the watchful eyes of two flanking mother figures at either end of the painting. They are strong, proud, and guarding over the scene. The coloration is also reflective of the sun and the moon. Red is on the left side of the painting and blue is on the right, representing day and night. Water, such as a salt marsh, is a sustaining life force and was critical to this story and the site we are in now. UH Downtown sits at the confluence of White Oak and Buffalo Bayous and was once a vital waterway for Houston. And this location is also the birthplace of Houston. It's like a nod to Houston's origin story. Along the bottom edge of the painting we see a waterway teeming with life. Fish and alligator, crawfish and waterfowl fill the water in its shores. At the center of the painting are children, which John calls the transforming spirit of the community. We see their hands reaching up for growth, knowledge, and wisdom, represented by the owl combs. The hair comb is another cross-cultural image we see here as part of the figures and the owls. The comb originated in Egypt thousands of years ago and is found in numerous African cultures. It has a utilitarian use, of course, but was also a treasured and ritualistic object within these cultures. The decorations also distinguish one group from another, but in America, the hair comb, or Afro comb, became a cultural and political icon among the African American community and a symbol of solidarity and black power in the 1970s. These mastabas are also interesting. What we see here are either early Egyptian pyramid forms or those from Mesoamerica, again bridging cultures and continents. From these giant architectural forms is a very curious line drawn directly to the gourds creating a zigzag pattern that blends with the pattern above. This zigzag is very reminiscent of a group of rooftops from either shotgun or row houses, which is an image that has permeated his work over time. As I mentioned earlier, many images here have their origins in Africa, but the themes and sentiment of the work is universal and timeless. John died in Houston in January of 2001, but he left an indelible mark on American art, the city of Houston and everyone he encountered. Thank you for joining us today and I hope you enjoyed our visit to Salt Marsh.